Now at six, as a new acting commissioner of the state's Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, Desi, starts his new job. Holyoke City leaders see this as a new opportunity to transition out of state control of their public schools that's been in place since 2015. Tonight we take a step back to understand how all of this impacts teachers and Western Mass News reporter Wesley Days is live for us with more on this after speaking with the president of the Massachusetts Teachers Association and Wesley. He says receiverships like this mean high teacher turnover rates. Exactly, Abby and Chris, and they are in the classrooms day in and day out, helping our kids learn what they need to know to go out and make the world a better place. In some of these places, Max Page, who's the president of that organization that you just talked about there, says turnover rates are as high as almost 30 to 40 percent. You want to know why? Educators who may be highly qualified now say, well, I have, I have minimal union rights. I'm up to the kind of the whim of the receiver. I think I'll go to another district. One of the most important things we know um, to help students learn is a consistent group of adults in their schools. Teachers, paraprofessionals, others they see day in, day out, year after year. And to have that many teachers leave is a huge problem. Well, here at Holyoke, it's been nearly nine years since the receivership started back in 2015 due to chronically low test scores and low graduation rates. Officials are now eager to work with new acting Desi Commissioner Russell Johnston, who previously served as West Springfield School Superintendent. Acting Commissioner Johnston is slated to be at next week's school committee meeting here in Holyoke, which is scheduled for this upcoming Monday. Public comment will also be heard. Now, speaking of public comment, we also asked President Page what a receivership can mean for students in the community they're in and all the community organizations that are affected by this receivership. He says Holyoke is already on the right path. The communities like Holyoke are doing exactly the right thing, which is that they have worked together. That is the school committee, um, the, the mayor, the unions have all gotten together and said, we want to have a plan to get out of receivership. We're ready. We're unified. Um, and yet the response from the, the commissioner who was about to leave, um, Jeff Riley, was you're not ready, but no clarity about the way forward. So I think Holyoke um, is doing the right thing by working together, but they need a clear plan. A clear plan, Abby and Chris. Now, speaking about uh, the man that President Page was just talking about, former Commissioner Jeffrey Riley, he stepped down just a few days ago. Commissioner Johnston, or acting Commissioner Johnston, is just in his first few days in this role. Next week, he'll be right here in our portion of the Bay State to talk more about getting the ball rolling to make sure that this city is on its path to getting towards out of that receivership or getting out of that receivership, I should say. Now, tonight we are also hearing from Acting Commissioner Johnston. He gave us a comment uh, in a statement to our newsroom this evening. It says in part, quote, I look forward to meeting with the school committee next week to discuss how we can develop a plan to build the committee's capacity to make further improvements in the district. A well-prepared school committee is essential for our shared commitment to returning to the school district or to returning the school district to local control. Now, there's still no timeline on when that transition will happen. We'll keep you updated as we learn more information and we'll have more information on that school committee, school committee meeting, if I can speak, on this upcoming Monday. Reporting live in Holyoke, Wesley Day's Western Mass News.